Hey everyone, this is Adam from Figmatic and today I'm going to be showing you how to spell check your text layers in Figma using a plugin called CopyDoc. So the first thing you'll need to do if you haven't already installed it is jump to the Figma community and search for the term CopyDoc and that's one word. So that's C-O-P-Y-D-O-C and if you hit enter you'll see a result pop up called CopyDoc and you'll see the install button on the right hand side. So if you haven't clicked install uh, just go ahead and click install and you'll see it change to say installed and once it looks like that you'll be able to jump back into your project and we can get started. So the first thing we need to do is just right click anywhere, go down to plugins and click on copy doc and that will fire up the plugin that we just installed a moment ago. So you'll notice there's a bunch of different options here but today we're just going to be focused on the option which is about spell checking Figma text. Um, so this is going to allow us to find and correct spelling mistakes across our entire page in Figma and we can get started by just clicking on spell check layers so that's the button next to this item. So after clicking on the button you'll get an option to say which language you want to spell check your Figma page in. Um, by default it just changes to English um, United States but if you click on the drop down you'll be able to see dozens of different languages so uh, you've got German, you've got English, different variations of English um, for Australia, Canada, United Kingdom. Uh, you've got French, you've got all these different languages. So depending on where in the world you're uh, designing the page, you'll want to change this to match whatever language the text in your file is. So in my case, I'm in Australia, so I'm just going to use English Australia option. And once you've selected the language, all you need to do is click on the button that says find spelling mistakes. So I'm going to click on that and this is now going through my entire Figma page and searching every single layer for spelling mistakes. Um, so you can see this is a fairly small file so it only took a couple of seconds. Uh, if you've got a really massive Figma file that you're spell checking uh, it might take a little bit longer but it should be pretty quick. Okay so you can see that uh, the spell checking feature has found a whole bunch of spelling errors in our Figma text. Um, I think it's found 21 spelling mistakes all up and some of these are going to be uh, actionable and some of them are not going to be actionable. Uh, there'll be a few that potentially are in a different uh, language or potentially are abbreviations which we actually don't want to um, correct. So for example Braun is a, a brand which isn't in the dictionary so um, even though it says it's a spelling mistake, we know that that's actually not a spelling mistake. So in that instance, I'm just going to leave that one. Um, but we can see here that there's another error uh, which is should be actually design, um, but it's been picked up because it's missing the E. And in brackets, you can see the number of times that it's been found in your Figma file. So any errors that the spell checker has found, um, it will automatically group them. So if you click on one of these little titles, uh, what that does is it reveals all the places that the spelling error has been found inside of your Figma file. Um, and what you can do if you want to actually inspect them is just click on any of these little search icons uh, next to the frame name. So in this case I'm going to click on principle 3 and I can see there it's immediately zoomed in to where the actual error is happening. And I can change that to you know go to the top one, so I'll go to the intro and that's going to jump to the text layer on the intro frame. And again, you can see here it's zoomed right into where the spelling mistake has been found in Figma. Um, so what we can do now, because we know we've got these five different spelling errors for the word design and we know we want to correct it, you can see all of the suggestions underneath. So uh, we've got five to four different suggestions. We know that we actually want it to be design, not sign. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and click on the design button. And you can see after I click that, it immediately updated those five different text layers all in one go. So I didn't need to do them individually, it just does them all in one go. Um, and it's telling me that it's corrected DSING uh, or IGN to design. So you can see the, the option that we picked has been displayed, just in case you forgot what you clicked. Um, and if you still want to zoom into those layers to confirm that it's all good, you can still open up that little icon and jump around to your different frames and just verify that the change is you know, as you'd expect. 
Um, the other thing you can do if you did it by mistake or if you actually just wanted to see what the options were again, um, while you've still got this window open, you can click on the undo button. So next to the correction, you can click on undo and it's got a little five in there to indicate that it's gonna undo five layers. So if we click undo, that will revert it back to the original spelling. And we could go ahead and change that to a different suggestion if we wanted. So I can click on sign instead and you can see it's updated it in those places. And then I can undo that again and then put it back to the correct one, which I know is design. So we've got that there. And uh, for the other ones, you can see here, this one's only found one mistake, uh, which we can zoom in here. So in this case, it's uh, the word life cycle and it's suggesting that it should be two words or hyphenated. If I want to hyphenate it, I can just click that middle option. There we go, so it's been updated. Uh, same with multi-press, so I can check out where that is. In this case, I might want to hyphenate that as well. Uh, product has two Ds in this case, so I'm gonna change that. And that's just changed it up here. And thorough has also been detected, so if I change that, I can uh, check out where that was. So that's updated there. So we can see that, we can change it to a different option. And again, it's really about whatever suggestion you wanna put in there um, is really up to you based on the context of the, the copy. Um, so that's basically how it works. Um, it'll search all of your, your design for text layers with spelling errors and offer you spell checking suggestions. Um, just keep in mind that this is just a spell checker. It doesn't take into account grammar or sentences or context or anything like that. Uh, it really is just a spell check feature for correcting individual words um, in your Figma text. So that's just something to be mindful of in case you know it doesn't pick up something which uh, in the context of the sentence is wrong, but in terms of the spelling, it might still be right. Um, so just be mindful of that. And uh, other than that, you can basically use it to uh, correct a lot of spelling mistakes in Figma uh, at scale. So you can see how quick uh, it can be and how quick it works. And because we've corrected these ones now, if I was to jump out of that and then spell check my Figma text layers again uh, by clicking on the spell check layers, if I rerun that search, so I'm just gonna click find spelling mistakes one more time. So this is gonna spell check all the layers in Figma again. And you can see this time it's only found 16 mistakes. And, that, and that's because we already changed the errors in the previous round. Um, so once you do that, as soon as you leave this modal or as soon as you uh, close the plugin after you've made those corrections, the very next time you run the plugin to spell check your Figma text, it will, it will not take those into account um, anymore. So you, you'll kind of lose the ability to undo those through the plugin. Um, but if you do want to undo them regardless, you can just use the native undo functionality. So if you do um, Command Z on the keyboard or Control Z if you're using Windows, um, you can still just undo those changes as you'd expect. So for example, if I use the undo button now, uh, I'm just gonna hit that a few times. And you can see there, it's already updated all of our copy back to the incorrect spelling. So again, if I rerun the spell checker for the Figma text again, so I'll spell check those layers now that I've undone the action and click find mistakes. You can see um, just like before, it's found 21 mistakes again. And the previous correction that I just undid using the, the native undo functionality is now back. So we've got design back as an incorrect spelling. And once again, I can just jump in and correct that too. Um, the other thing that's worth noting is I'm able to do this because I have the fonts installed. Um, if you're a user of Figma, you'll know that the way that fonts work, um, if you don't have the fonts installed on your machine and you try to edit a text layer that's already been created, um, Figma won't let you do it. It'll, it'll tell you that you need to install the font. So the same thing is true of the the spelling uh, spell check feature in CopyDoc as well. So if it does find a spelling error and you, you can see it show up on the list, if you don't have the font installed, um, CopyDoc will automatically flag that in the plugin. So you'll see a little message saying that um, the font isn't installed and it's gonna prompt you to install that font and the suggestion buttons will be disabled 
until you've actually installed that font. So if you do run into that, that's completely normal and that's that's how it's supposed to work. Um, and the plugin will absolutely let you know if there's any text that um, is missing the font. So that's just something to be mindful of too. Um, but that's basically it. It's very simple. Uh, it's it's an extremely quick way of scanning your spelling uh, spelling errors in Figma and offering you suggestions for all of those different words and bulk updating all those spelling errors across all of your Figma layers in one go. So I hope that's been helpful for you. If you've been wondering how to do spell checking in Figma or if you've tried other spell checking products and, and they haven't quite been what you're looking for, um, then this is just uh, uh, another option that you can try for, uh, for doing your spell checking in Figma. So thank you as always for watching and we'll be back soon with more tutorials just like this one.